Hey everybody and welcome to another Civilization Saturday. I'm MicroVMX and today we're going to be starting a brand new game as Askia of the Songhai. Now they get the River Warlord unique ability, which means you get triple the amount of gold from barbarian encampments and pillaging cities. Land units, that's your um, non-naval units obviously, and non-air units. They have the War Canoe and Amphibious promotions from the start, which means that they will be very powerful when embarked, means they're very good at crossing um, lakes and oceans and stuff. I to sort of maybe put that into play, I've decided to play a four corners type of map. We're still going with a huge map, 12 players, so me and 11 random civilizations with 24 random city-states. Same difficulty as last time, Prince. It's pretty standard. Game pace is quick. Let's start it up. We're going to be playing a domination victory, which means... Well, I'll tell you what it means, but this guy's got to talk. May the blessings of God, who is greatest of all, be upon you, Askia, leader of the Songhai people. For many years, your kingdom was a vassal of the mighty West African state of Mali, until the middle of the 14th century, when King Sunni Ali Bear wrested independence from the Mali, conquering much territory and fighting off numerous foes who sought to destroy him. Ultimately, his conquest of the wealthy cities of Timbuktu and Jenne gave the growing Songhai Empire the economic power to survive for some 100 years until the empire was destroyed by foes with advanced technology. Muskets against spearmen. King Askia, your people look to you to lead them to glory, to make them powerful and wealthy, to keep them supplied with the weapons they need to defeat any foe. Can you save them from destruction, O King? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Okay, uh, so Askia also has a unique unit, the Mandalaku Cavalry, which replaces the knight, and they're not penalized when attacking cities, which is pretty cool. And you get the Mud Pyramid Mosque unique building, which is a culture and faith building that has no maintenance cost. There was something going on over here. All right, well, let's begin our journey. Okay, so here we go. We founded our city of Gao. Let's uh, set that up as production focus to start. And we'll start by building a monument. Then I'll have our Songhai warrior start exploring. And to start, we're going to go with archery, of course. And as you can see, he already has, he has war canoes, which means embarked units have double the usual defense strength and see further than a normal embarked unit. An amphibious eliminates combat penalty for attacking from the sea or over a river. Now, um, if you've played the vanilla version of Civilization V or if you've played Gods and Kings, um, I want to let you know that, and they, they didn't really advertise this, but Domination Victory has changed. It used to be that to win a Domination Victory, you all you had to do was... I hate that when it does that. All you had to do was be the last civilization in control of their original capital. But they've changed it to you have to control all of the capitals. Uh, for example, just to give you an example of why that's different. Let's say I'm fighting a war against the last civilization left. It's just me and we'll say Greece. But Greece has already taken out, we'll say, England. And they own the city of London. I have to take London to win because it's an original capital. Found us some ruins. Right at the very edge of the map, it looks like. It's an unusual sort of map. Okay, so that was a, a mapping one. I discovered rooms there and there. Yeah, and yeah. This is going to be interesting. Well, by the way, what archery does is it uh, allows you to build the archer, the first range unit of the game. And you'll also be able to build the Temple of Artemis. 10% growth in all cities, 15% production in building ranged units. Which is the first wonder that I do like to go for. Okay, so let's see. They're done with the monuments. And we have two turns left to learn archery. So I'm going to go ahead and make a scout. That only takes three turns. And, you know, the early thing is explore, 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 try to gain as many ancient runes as you can, try to grab land with resources, things like that. We have archery. Have been with one of the own we 
We often give our enemies the means of our own destruction. It's like, is that a river? Hmm. It's hard to tell. Okay, so next I'm going to choose... Uh, let's see, what kind of... Alright. Now you kind of like want to play towards... You want to get like all these ones that allow you to do things early on, but you want to play towards what you have. There's stone there, and there's incense there. Stone requires masonry, incense requires the calendar. I'm going to go for masonry, because masonry will also allow you to build the pyramids, which gives you two free workers. So we got to start with mining. Mining allows workers to construct mines to increase the production of map tiles and chop forests, allowing the construction of other improvements. So we're going to go with that. There's a city-state of... Oh, is that Panama City's over there. I've never played a Four Corners map before, so this should be interesting. All right, so let's see. Okay, they finished the scout. We're going to build the Temple of Artemis. And we're going to adopt the policy. We're going to start with the Liberty Tree. So we're going to adopt that, which will provide plus one culture in every city and unlocks the pyramids. So we're going to adopt Liberty. And uh, we're going to send him up, we'll say. All right, I got a gold bump, 60 gold. That's cool. Next turn. Alright, let's go like this. Very strange that that sort of just ends there, I don't know. Like I said, I never played this kind of map, so... What is that? Banza Kanza? Alright, now that runes disappeared, which means another civilization has already gotten that rune, so it means I'm nearby to somebody. That's okay. I already got two of them. It looks like I will be meeting somebody soon. Alright. Alright, we've met them. And we got 30 gold, signifying that we are the first civilization to meet them. Yeah, that's probably, I guess, the edge of the map. So it's not the kind of map that you could wrap around. It's unusual. I've never played that kind of map before, but we're going to do it today. And for the next couple of weeks. All right, there's some barbarians. Let's, uh, let's attack them. I'm going to try and take out as many barbarians as you can, gain experience points, level up to gain promotions. Very important. Mbanga Congo. Mbanza Congo. Alright, our culture is leveled up again, and we are going to adopt citizenship. Tile improvement construction rate is increased by 25%, and we get a worker. So let's do that. Now let's get that worker get going right now with a farm. Ah, I found a camp. It's going to be also be a source of gold, because Aski gets uh, a lot more gold than he, you know, most other civilizations from raiding encampments. Of course, that's just a scout. Scouts, they don't really stand that much of a chance against barbarians. We'll see what happens. But not its minimal rights. Okay, uh, we're going to go with drill one here, and we're going to attack again. Notice the music is different. Each civilization has its own music. All right. Let's just sort of... Oh, look who I've learned, Matt. Utica. So this is Boudica of the Celts. Um, I don't have anything I can do with her right now, so we're just going to say goodbye for now. So that's probably who got that... That uh, ancient runes that was near me. Okay, so for our next technology, uh, we're going to want masonry. Allows you to build walls, which greatly improve the defense of cities from attack. Also allows workers to construct quarries on marble and clear marshes, allowing other improvements to be constructed. See walls, pyramids, and the mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Construct quarry, clear marsh. Uh, the pyramids uh, requires liberty. Tile improvement, construction speed increased by 25%, and two workers appear near the city. And the, the mausoleum of Halicarnassus, you gain 100 gold for each time a great person is expended, and each source of marble or stone worked in the city produces extra gold. So we're going to go with that. That'll take nine turns. 
Yeah, so there's a Celtic scout and a Celtic warrior. Looks like they're taking a very similar approach to what I'm doing. I'm getting attacked here. That's fine. I can go on the defensive. Oh, that's not good. All right. It'd be nice if these Celtic warriors helped me, but... I'm gonna have to just kind of leave them alone until I can get an archer or two. I should finish him off. Come on already. Jesus Christ. I took heavy damage from that, so he's gonna have to heal for a while. The beginning is always kind of rough, you know. Alright, so here's a ranking on production. I'm near to the bottom, but that's okay. So we're gonna fortify until healed there. I'm gonna move him over there. Those workers. Alright, you're gonna construct a farm. Go over there. So, Lake Victoria has increased our happiness, and if I get that within my boundaries, it's six, six food units, but it's already within the boundaries of uh, Panama City, so I would have to take that city. And I don't, I don't attack city-states, really. I don't see the reason to. I can see where... I thought there was a border there. Yeah, that's where the Celts are, right over there. I'm still healing. Beginning's always kind of slow. What can you do? I mean, a lot of action in this playthrough. Let's come over there, build another farm. met Panama City, near Maritime. Actually, I think I should check them at Banza Congo. I think they're uh, militaristic. Uh, yeah, militaristic. You definitely want to make friends with militaristic city-states if you are planning a domination victory because they will give you free units, which is great. Uh, it's kind of in danger, but let's move them into the city. I gotta get that encampment taken care of so I don't get swarmed by barbarians constantly. That farm is unfinished. Oh my god. So we have masonry. Uh, let's fire on these guys. Alright, let's choose our next thing. Alright, I'm gonna go with pottery. Pottery allows your cities to build the granary, which provides food, helping your cities grow larger. Also allows you to build the shrine, the first faith-producing building in the game. And uh, that will lead to calendar as well, which will let me take advantage of that incense. Hmm. Just kind of want to not do anything until that guy gets the fuck out of here. Somebody already founded a Pantheon. Usually when you see a Pantheon founded so early, you know the Celts are in the game. But we already met them, so, you know. Oh, there's another encampment there. Let's fire on those guys. We're going to adopt the policy of Republic. Republic, yes. It's plus one production in every city and plus five percent production in cities when constructing buildings. Go ahead and do that. Scouts are just explore, explore, explore. I've discovered Mount Kailash, and I can get extra faith if that's worked, and two happiness if it's in my borders. All right. What's this guy doing? All right. He's healed enough. I need to start moving him back up. See, I, the way I do it, I always kind of start slow and then kind of surge forward. I don't know, that's the way I play. 
this is not good. They're marating farms. Okay. Stay there. Next turn. You're being gross and annoying. Fucking barbarians, man. They're actually attacking the city, which I mean, they they can't really do much about the city. They can't. They can take money from you if they do enough damage. But, uh, can't do. They can't like take the city away from you. There's Hanoi. I believe Hanoi is another um, militaristic city state. God, in three turns I'll have that mausoleum. You start turning out archers, you know. Oh, go back there. I want to. I'll take him out. It didn't kill him? Oh my god. Alright, let's see. We're going to go with the calendar. The calendar allows workers to construct plantations on many luxury resources that are extremely important for food growth and happiness. Uh, note many resources require you to have chopped a forest jungle first, which requires other technology. You also build the Stonehenge Wonder, Stoneworks Building, and Plantations. I mentioned the plantations already. Okay, so I've met Hanwai. They are militaristic. I got 15 gold from them, which is good, because I could go ahead and buy... A no, we're not a warrior! Damn it, I meant to buy an archer. That was a mistake. I misclicked. Oh, well. That's okay. Warriors are useful, too. It's just not what I was looking for. Son of a biscuit. These Celts are like, <laughs> yeah, that's their problem. Fuck you. Alright. Yeah, how you like my ass now? to attack that encampment, definitely. Ah, we just met Budapest. They are also militarist. A lot of militaristic city-states around me, which is good. That's really excellent. That's what you want for militaristic victory. Panama City is actually under attack right now. Ah, it's got not it. so much for its beauty that the forest makes a claim upon men's hearts. As for that subtle something, that quality of air, that emanation from old trees that so wonderfully changes and renews a weary spirit. Okay, alright, we're just gonna kinda sneak past him. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna produce, we need the pyramids, but I'm gonna hold off on that, I need at least one archer. That was my bad. Repair, let's move forward. It's only gonna take three turns out of me. See what happens. Oh, they're getting attacked. That's cool. I hate barbarians, but they are so necessary. If you play without barbarians, then essentially you are um, not going to level up until you attack other people. All right, let's go back over there and finish that farm that I was working on. You're going to go there, and you're going to attack there. See, he's flanking. Gives you a flanking bonus. Of course, this guy has a flanking bonus, and so does this guy, because they have me surrounded, but that's okay. No, they just spawned another one. What did I get? Calendar! Teach us Technology to our days Awesome. So that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Awesome. What is that? That looks like, ooh, looks like cyan, maybe? I can't tell. It doesn't say. Alright. Well, let's see. Next, we're going to pick, uh, huh. Let's do bronze working. Bronze working reveals iron and allows your workers to chop jungle, clearing the map tile so other improvements can be constructed. Also allows you to build the spearman, a military unit strong against mounted enemies. So you get the spearman, the barracks, the statue of Zeus wonder, 
Reveals iron on the map and lets you remove jungle. Alright. Yeah, the most important thing is to take out the encampment so they can't spawn anymore. The economy is kind of to suck right now, but you get, let's say, 50 gold from that. They get more gold than other civilizations do from doing that, so that's good. Oh, this is great. Mabanza Congo is targeting a nearby encampment, which means that any barbarians I kill near them will give me some favor with them. He promoted. Uh, he promoted as well. So this is uh, ranked by how much food. I'm in second place there. Let's take care of those promotions. Now, it's kind of like you want to heal them because they're in danger. Don't do it. I'm going to go with drill one there. Drill one there. And then just set them to um, to fortify, and uh, come on now, let's send in some reinforcements. Archers. Oh, it's Honolulu. Uh, Polynesia, rather. Honolulu is their capital. So he is the leader of the Polynesian Empire. His capital is... Honolulu, and his name is Kamehameha. <laughs> Definitely want to go over there. Start taking advantage of those resources. I have cotton, stone, and incense. All right. Let's get those pyramids built. Hanoi is targeting an encampment. So I'm getting attacked here, and that sucks, but you have the extra defense from fortifying, you know? Scouts can cover so much ground so quickly. Alright. Let's attack him. And hopefully everybody survives. See, so you gain a little hit points, too. And barbarians are often stupid enough to attack you when they have no chance of surviving. Here they're actually moving away. That's kind of interesting. You don't see that too often. Alright. I should take him right out. Might as well, right? Take him out completely. And then I'll move them back within my borders to heal, because you heal faster within your borders than outside of them fortifying before was just to survive until my archer can get into place. Okay. Go there, and we'll stay up there. Oh, look, France! There's Napoleon. Bienvenue. Je suis Napoleon, de France. Le militaire le plus intelligent de l'histoire mondiale. Okay. Uh, we'll say goodbye to him. I have nothing to say to him, really. There you go. The archer I'm going to kind of keep close to the capital to sort of uh, be the defender. Alright. Right, I'm going to move you over here and we'll make a quarry. You're going to fortify till healed, and you're going to garrison. Okay, uh, he wants to uh, uh, put an embassy in my capital. He's going to give me one gold per turn for 25 turns. I don't have writing, that's why it's not a straight trade. So I'm going to accept that, because it improves your early economy and whatever. I don't give a shit. It means that he's already gone for writing. He's probably going for, like, the Great Library or something. Wonder. I'll put him on alert. Next turn. You see they heal much faster with him when they're within your borders. 20 hit points per turn as opposed to 10. Um, somebody's already entered the classical era. That bronze working. With a spear 11 cubits long in his hand, the bronze point gleamed in front of him and 
was fastened to the shaft of the spear by a ring of gold. Okay, so we're going to adopt Collective Rule, which speeds the training of settlers by 50% in the capital, and a free settler will appear near the capital. Venice will receive a merchant of Venice instead of a settler. So let's go with that. Alright, so let's move you. Oh, I've discovered some ruins, but let me see that. Napoleon's going to get to it first. He'll just go like that next turn. Alright, so next I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with writing which allows you to build the first science building library, helping your empire research new technologies more quickly, also allows you to enlist embassies in other, sorry, establish embassies in other civilizations. So you get the library, the great library wonder, and embassies. All right, this is kind of troublesome, but. Send the warrior with him. You gonna come over there. Kamehameha has entered the classical era. That's fine. Like I said, I'm always a little behind in the beginning, but then I surge forward. I have a very slow start. That's the way it is. Alright. Oh, actually, oh man. Why? Napoleon must not have seen those ruins. I can go back and get those. Unless he did and it was out of... Well, I don't know. He might have gotten it. I can't... Sometimes it doesn't show it. All right, we're good. There's an encampment right there, so don't have to worry. All right, so uh, two players that I haven't met have, met have entered the classical era, and somebody has... Great Library. It says Faraway Lands, so obviously it wasn't France. Otherwise it would say France! Oh yeah, give me those experience points. So actually, you know what, let me go back and see if I can maybe get those ancient runes, because for some reason he, I, I assumed he would get them, but he didn't. I'm going to move you over here. And you're going to attack. You're going to fortify. And we're going to make our second city Tumbuktu. All right, so we're going to put that on production focus right now. We're going to build a monument. Next turn. Somebody else got Stonehenge. Don't care. I very rarely go for Stonehenge. Yeah, okay, he did get it. Sometimes if it's not within your line of sight, you won't see it. Build a farm. And you, let's set you back out to explore. Garrison. There we go. So they'll probably attack the Celts first because they're close by. They already made the city of Dublin very close to me. So Timbuktu will be kind of a staging ground for the first war against the Celts. And then I guess Kamehameha is pretty close unless there's somebody like over in this area that I haven't met, which is possible. Right now, we're just exploring. I don't want to explore too much because you want to keep your guys close to where you're going to need them. But, you know, just the area around here. There might be stuff like over here. I mean, if you're going for like other kinds of victory exploration, it's great. A good book. Kills, Kills reason itself. itself. So we have writing. Okay, our next technology that we're going to research is going to be animal husbandry, which allows you to build the caravan used to establish lucrative trade routes. Also allows workers to construct pastures on cows and sheep, reveals horses, which are used to build powerful mounted units. So you get the caravan unit, horses will be revealed, you'll be able to construct pastures, and you'll get a trade route. So let's do that. Hell, why not? Maybe he'll level up. He'll definitely level up from that. Oh, he didn't. Weird. Now, one wonder that I would like to get, it's not necessary, but I would like to try to get the Terracotta Army, which is great for land-based domination. Okay, he got attacked, which means it's a city-state. Yeah, Ragusa. 
Ragusa is maritime. Okay. Very cool. Uh, I'll come over there and get that wheat. Let's see if there's anything up there, you know. Okay, Boudicca wants to trade embassies, let's do that. And you can see that reveals where her capital is, Edinburgh is right there, of course I already knew that. I'll probably talk to Kamehameha about the same thing. Let's do that. No, eventually gonna be going to... Oh, he actually doesn't have writing yet, so never mind. He'll want money. Ah, Uluru. Okay, cool. That's another reason to send scouts out, because you might find a lot of wonders, especially if you're playing as somebody like Spain. Finding wonders as Spain is practically necessary, actually. I should see about attacking that very nearby encampment. All right, so two more plays have entered the classical era. Somebody founded a religion, Catholicism. And we have Thou animal husbandry. The the ox when he treadeth out the corn. All right, so our next technology is going to be the wheel. And you definitely want to do this not too long after you've made your second city. Uh, what the wheel does is it allows you to build the chariot archer, a fast and powerful range unit which requires horses and the water mill, which gives your city a food and production boost if it's next to a river, also allows workers to construct roads, which allows units to move across the map for fast, faster and provide some extra gold when connecting cities to your capital. And as you can see, my economy, we've been in a mild deficit for a while, so you definitely want that extra money from uh, connections. Although roads cost money to maintain, it's, it's important to have them. So let's uh, let's actually attack from that. Oh wow! Okay. Well, in that case, we're gonna send in reinforcements. Oh, that's right. I want to talk to that guy. All right. All right. Let's just get that out of there, though. That's fine. Fuck you. We have our pyramids. Of death which come upon the enter into my body. I am the god Tem, and I am the foremost part of the sky, and the power which protected me is that which is with all the gods forever. From the Book of the Dead. Awesome. So that um, tile improvement construction speed increased by 25%, and we got two free work well, not free workers. We didn't have to produce them, but they, they do require monies per turn. Uh, I just met Wellington. They are maritime. I think Wellington is new as of the latest patch. All right. Uh, let's go over there. You're going to go there. And you're going to go there. You're going to move down there. You are going to move over there. Ooh, Japan. Do you know how many take a kid in the boys at all, Moshagita? All right, let's see. Okay, so that should reveal Kyoto on the map, which is all the way down here. Okay. There's Kyoto. So let's see. They're done with the pyramids. Let's build the mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Why not? If I can get the wonders, I'll take them. Because even if the wonders don't do anything specifically awesome for your victory type, most wonders do give you extra culture, which if you're not going for cultural victory, is still useful because you spend it on social policies, which is your skill trees. Very important to have. Okay, so this is ranking by military. I'm probably dead last right now because I haven't built up a military yet. Uh, Japan's in first place. I'm not really concerned about that just yet. And holy shit, Portugal. <laughs> Okay. So that should reveal Lisbon, their capital, which is up there, yep. Cool. Okay, Tumbuktu is finished with the monument. Let's build a... You know, yeah, let's build a granary. Granaries are... Actually, no, no. Let's build a caravan. 
very important to have caravans. This is weak in this archer here. Alright, we're gonna do a farm there and a farm there, farm everywhere. Let's attack this guy. Very nice, very nice. And we go to the plantation there. Okay, somebody else entered the classical era. The wheel. Okay. Let's continue along. And attack. Nice. Very nice. Let's choose our research. Okay, the next one I'm going to go for is construction. Uh, it's going to take eight turns. Construction allows you to build the Composite Bowman, a powerful range unit in the Colosseum, which improves happiness in the Empire, which in turn helps your city growth and makes Golden Ages more likely. Also allows warriors to construct lumber mills on forested map tiles, increasing their production. And also the Terracotta Army Wonder, which I'd like to have. I'm with you there, and you're going to actually attack there, and then you're going to defend for now. Cool. Somebody else entered the classical era. Somebody founded a religion. I'm not going to bother with religion since I'm just attacking anyway. I mean, if I get one, that's fine, but I'm not looking for one. All right, let's see. We've got some power ups here. We're going to go with drill two there, and we're going to go with barrage one. Attack. Alert. I'll defend, really. Alright, since I now have uh, a road, let's start making roads. Looks like that's where the encampment is. Very nice. The Celts and the Japanese have that practically surrounded, though. Mm, better than me. <laughs> Alrighty then. Alright, let's just go along here. Now, what is that? Persia! Very cool. So, oh, we've met Darius of Persia. That should uh, reveal his capital, Persepolis, which is right there. Oh, actually, let me. Uh, Target. <laughs> we'll let you do that. All right. Come down here. Build a road. Oh man, this is one of those hand axe guys. Those guys can be irritating in the beginning of the game. Somebody else entered the classical era. This could be dangerous. I might lose that unit. Come on. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeah! Fuck you! You thought you were going to kill my guy? I killed your guy. Asshole. Alright. Um, I'm down here. Build a road. Okay, you... Let's send out there. You are going to come down there. I don't have bridges yet. Put you on alert. I'm actually going to move you away so you can't get gobbled in the next turn. Speaking of next turn, let's hit it. Just making sure it's still recording. 
get paranoid about shit like that. All right. Uh, let's move over there. All right. Uh, there or there. There. Or, actually, I'd rather be there. Be able to start on that turn and then just freaking build a thing right there. The, uh, the plantation there. Attack! Very nice. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that terracotta army. I'm sure going to try. What it basically does is it gives you copies of all your uh, land units, which is really cool. And you're in a golden age. Okay, plantation Timbuktu is connected. Let's uh, move you over there for the wheat. Move you over there, and you're going to take that out. I got 50 gold from that. Want to learn farm next turn? In the four turns, I'll have that mausoleum. Unless somebody beats me to it, which would suck, but that's always a possibility. It's actually an achievement for um, getting beaten to too many wonders in one game. It's called really. And oh, China. Okay, let's see if we can get an embassy in there, and that should reveal their capital. And it did, there it is, Beijing, that's Shanghai. And we're going to go for representation. Each city you found will increase the culture cost of policies by 33% less than normal, and immediately starts a golden age, since we're already in a golden age. It just extended it. So how many have I yet to meet? Let me see. Hmm. There's four civilizations that I've yet to meet. So there's myself as the Songhai. There's um, Polynesia, Japan, uh, Persia, Celt, the Celts, uh, France, Portugal, and... No, that's the Celts. Who was that? Oh, that's China. Never mind. So there's one, two, three, four more. I wonder who it will be. You definitely need to heal. All right. Let's start building up my army now. Um, I'd love to be able to attack the Celts, especially since I see that Dublin is a very weak city. It's only got a combat rating of nine. Okay. So Kamehameha wants incense, and he's going to give me three gold and two horses, and he's going to give me an embassy. That's a really good trade. You want to take advantage of the strong trades like that early on in a domination-based game because as you continue to expand your empire and take more cities and be more of a warmonger, uh, what's going to happen is they're going to trust you less and less, they're going to start hating you, and they're not going to want to deal with you. Three things are to be looked to. We have construction. That it stand on the right spot. That it be securely founded that it be successfully executed. Another thing is I heard that sound effect, so we've moved to the next era. Proud is the spirit of Zeus fostered kings. Their honor comes from Zeus, and Zeus, god of counsel, loves them. Seems like we're kind of behind the curve, but trust me, things are going to start to move a lot faster. Miss Kuala Lumpur? Okay, we're going to move you over there. You're going to upgrade to a composite bowman. And next we're going to go with... Uh, mathematics. That allows you to build the catapult, a powerful siege weapon. Also allows you to connect, build the courthouse, a building which reduces the unhappiness from occupied cities. If you're going to be occupying cities, taking them over, absolutely necessary to have mathematics. Plus, you need siege weapons. The catapult is the first of those. Plus, it leads to currency, which is going to you know, help with my uh, economy and whatnot. I'm not even interested in fighting you guys right now, to be honest with you. Okay. 
lumber mill there. How many times is this guy gonna message me? Well, I mean, you're in my way now. I just should've leave me alone. Music has stopped for some reason. Oh, there we go. Dicks. Aha! All earth is the tomb of the heroic men, men and, and their story, story is not, not given, given only a stone of their clay, clay but abides everywhere, everywhere without visible symbol, symbol woven into the stuff of other, other men's lives. lives. I can't explain what that does. Let's move you like that. Okay, um, so let's start working on that terracotta army. That's really important. If we can get that, that would be great. Ugh, danger. All right, move you over there, build a farm. Alert. Oda Nobunaga has the Colossus. That's fine for him. Ah, somebody else got the Terracotta Army. Oh, well. That's okay. I only just started it. So it's not like I got almost to the point of having it and then lost it. So I'm just going to use this, the, the capital to start building units because I do need more units. Let's start with another Composite Bowman. Okay, you yep, go ahead and do a farm. They should kill him. Unless I get unlucky. Yeah. Fuck you too. It's like one hit point left, I think. Bloody hell. You dicks attacking random scouts. Okay, they promoted though. Uh, I'm gonna do survivalism. Five hit points heal per turn outside of friendly territory and 25% defense. And I'm gonna move away. Okay, so Timbuktu has finished the caravan. Uh, let's build a spearman. Start putting ourselves into place. Okay, this caravan, I'm actually gonna move him over to Gao. Because I want to trade with Mbanga Congo. Mbanza, whatever the hell you say it. Alright. I don't have trapping yet. So I'm going to move over there. Somebody has Petra. That's a hard one to get, too. It's interesting. Hanoi is being attacked. That's okay. Mathematics. Have mathematics. To the sciences. Cool. Definitely need to heal, but let's just move a little further away. Right. Okay, so next I'll go with, uh, you know, trapping's very quick. We'll do trapping. Allows your workers to construct camps and sources of deer, ivory, fur, and truffles. Uh, and you'll also be able to build circuses. So let's the farm there. So start moving people into place. Come over there. Fortify till healed. Come over there. Alright, I'm going to send you over to Mbanza, Congo. friends with them now. I might start getting uh, units from them. They'll heal very quickly. Alright, farm. Let's move you over there. Next turn. Kuala Lumpur has become the ally of Persia. Okay. It's fine. 
allies and grew up on Panama City, Kuala Lumpur, and Persia are no longer allies. That didn't last very long. I've got my uh, archer guy, Composite Bowman. All right, let's build a warrior, because... Yeah. Ugh, that sucks. That really does suck, too, that it's spawned right there. I gotta kind of deal with that now, you know? Even brute beasts and wandering birds do not fall into the same traps or nets twice. Okay, well this is actually great. Let me go ahead, I'm going to buy a uh, chariot archer there. And my next research is going to be currency. Uh, that allows you to build various gold boosting buildings like the mint and markets. So you get the mint, the market, Petra, and it leads to guilds, which is really important. Okay, so you're going to come back there. You are going to come there, and then you're going to attack that guy. Maybe doing this will level these new guys up before they attack the Celts. I was hoping to get some good war action going in the first episode of Civilization Saturday, Songhai. But, I don't know, we're running out of time. i got to make another ten minutes before I'm going to stop. Oh, I've gotten a unit, a free unit from Hunt. Well, not free, but a unit. Oh, look at that. It's a it's a catapult? Yeah, oh, that's awesome. So I got a free catapult from Hanoi. Okay, so let's move you there. And move you there. And you're... Bloody hell, you're going to attack there. You're going to attack him. The catapult, they're just going to start moving down towards the city. Oh, that's great. Go ahead, do a camp. I mean, yeah, I could make the video as long as I want, but I have I have business to take care of as well this morning, so. That is getting irritating. All right. Hold on. You attack there. See, I could have attacked with that, but that... It's, uh, it's not... It doesn't give you experience, you know? Alright, so, let's see, um, you just start making buildings, in the capital especially. I'm gonna go with, uh, library there, and, uh, well, definitely a water mill here. those fucking Celts. Ah, oh, I got another new unit, a Spearman. Awesome. See, that's why you want to be friends or even allies with um, militaristic city-states. And that'll give me a good money boost. Not to mention all the experience. So now we're talking. Now we got a good army going. Start moving our guys down. Alright. You're gonna start repairing, you're gonna go over there. So that was definitely actually good that that spawn gave me time to get a few free units and also uh, some experience in gold. So that was worth it actually. Kinda like grinding in an RPG, you know? They don't have any units defending Dublin unless they're down here. It's kind of sad. I'm actually going to go ahead and declare war right now. So she just told me she's going to own my head. I kind of doubt that, to be honest. Let's start going on the attack. All 
Alright, rock and roll, Desu. So we'll get a little bit of war in before I have to end the video. The Dublin's extremely weak, has a combat rating of 9. That's... Oof. Dangerous to have that on your frontier that week. I'm losing grasp on... Mbanza Congo. How much I can do about that, to be honest. That was well. From there, yes, I can. Very cool. See, that warrior is basically tanking because she'll continue to attack it, most likely. That'll also be in my invasion force if it's in good enough shape. Ireis considerar esta oferta? Portugal wants to be friends. I'm going to say yes. There's not going to be that many offers of friendship in this game, to be honest, because I'm playing a warmonger. Oh, she's finally moving in units, but I might be able to take the city in this next round. We'll see what happens. The Golden Age has ended, and I can adopt the policy. Let's do that. We're going to go with meritocracy, which is going to give me plus one happiness in each city that I own connected to the capital, and minus 5% on happiness from citizens in non-occupied cities. Not only that, but that will complete the Liberty skill tree, which will give me a free great person of my choice near the capital. So let's see. All right, so Gao has finished the library. Let's build... Um, barracks. Um, I mean, you know, you could do a lot of different things here. Um... I say for your first great person that you can choose, always choose either a scientist or a writer. The writer gives you a huge culture bump for social policies. The scientist gives you extra science, which is huge. Um, in this case, I'm going to go with the scientist. So we have our great scientist, Ernest Rutherford, and I'm going to use him to discover technology. Uh, always do that unless you're going for science victory. In that case, you do want to build academies. So we have currency, bread with a happy heart and wealth with vexation. And I'll very quickly be able to have guilds, and only eight turns and normally it would take a lot longer. Uh, guilds allows workers to construct the trading post, which increases the gold output of map tiles, also allows your cities to convert production into gold instead of working on units or buildings. So uh, East India Company wonder, Machu Picchu wonder, we'll definitely try to get that. Artist Guild wonder. Construct a trading post ability, and, you're f and uh, you'll be able to produce wealth if you want to. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. All right, that's good enough to invade. It's a Pictish over there, so they are fighting back, but... That is now my city. Okay, we'll go ahead and make a pasture there. Um, start immediately building the road. Because that'll help the economy. Alright, and definitely build a courthouse right away because we have uh, negative unhappiness right now. Ahead, build a farm. Next turn. All right, so Kamehameha is denouncing me. That's fine. Uh, very well. Get to you in time. Because every city you take gives you a warmonger penalty. Napoleon has entered the medieval era. Good for him. 
And as you can see, you'll see things like they see, uh, like, oh, Japan sees the potential threat posed by my warmongering. They hate warmongers. Darius hates warmongers. China, they dislike warmongers. Napoleon, they have some early concerns about your warmongering. They, they're okay, really. Maria doesn't seem to care yet. The Celts, obviously, were at war. And, of course, Kamehameha, they hate warmongers. They're not happy about anything right now. Let's move you down there. Can I fire on? Oh, these guys really? Edinburgh is right there. Flush with money right now. Do I have enough money to buy a settler? No, I don't. That's 370. All right. You're gonna fortify down here. Build a road. Next turn. Okay, he's he's just being hostile right now. Just commenting on the unhappiness. But you'll pay in time. We'll get you. Don't worry. You're, you're next on my list, probably. Actually, Japan would probably be the logical one to attack next. I'm going to make this next turn the last one. Oh, getting attacked by uh, archers there. That looked devastating, but it, it doesn't take much to take out one of the chariots. As you see, that was a very... It was 26 damage, not a whole lot. Okay, okay. And they got a promotion. We're going to go ahead, and for them it's going to be... Yeah, we'll go ahead with Barrage. Attack. Attack. Alright. Alright, I'm going to save it here. I will see you guys next week with more Civilization Saturday. So, uh, we're gonna... What did I call the last one? I want to call it something very similar. Okay, so Civ Saturday Songhai. I'll see you guys next week with more Civilization Saturday.